Hey guys, welcome to another video. Uh, in this video, it's basically a short guide on how to install the VR Performance Toolkit, uh, specifically for iRacing, but um, it does work on pretty much any VR game as far as I'm aware. Uh, I'll put the links down below, but you're basically going to come to this GitHub uh, page and you're going to want to go to the releases over here and then uh, grab the zip file from here and then you will get uh, this is what's inside the zip and you're going to want to go find where you've got your iRacing installed so where the actual not in not in the documents folder where like paints are but this is where the actual exe to the game is and you're going to want to drag the dxgi and the vr perf kit yaml file straight into here and then what you're going to want to do is um go into this uh performance kit um probably going to want to set this to FSR, but you can you can actually change this on the fly in in sim so you can test this yourself uh, Make sure this is true um, So the fixed foveated rendering only works on it Says somewhere right here Nvidia RTX and GTX cards So I have any AMD card, so I don't have this on but basically it does what this does Which is the upscaling um, and you'll see in the video what that looks like um, but for Upscaling it's like one measurement whereas if you have the foveated you can you can have like the inner medium and outer ranges of resolution so you can get even more or less detailed the further away you go from the center whereas on if you just have an AMD card it's one value so it's a circle and then outside of that it's just lower res all the way to the outside so that's all there is um, another cool thing is when you're in the sim once this is working if you hit control F1 you'll be able to toggle on and off the preview the debug and there is a log file as well this gets generated and the log file sits right here and yeah basically just prints out a bunch of crap so you can see if it's working because it's just doing stuff um i'll show you what it looks like um with the debug mode and then what i'll do is i'll probably have like two or three side by sides of it off it on at 0.9 and I think I did another one at 0.8 so again I'm only testing the upscaling the fovea it is very similar to the upscaling it's just more granular I guess but um, yeah so I'm testing some stuff so yeah enjoy the video enjoy the tests I'll just show you my settings of what I'm actually uh, what I'm running uh, so this is what I run in VR currently um, the performance is okay I would say some circuits is quite it's a bit it can, there can be stutters in certain corners like looking back towards a lot of track elements whatever but um this is what i'm currently running now we have the performance toolkit enabled i'll just toggle on this so as you can see because uh this is the basic upscaling uh so as you, everything outside of the red it's basically being rendered at a lower resolution i've actually got a quite narrow quite a small circle mainly for testing i'll have to try out what i like but um this actually is probably okay because you know if I want to if I'm driving and I want to glance down at uh, the wheel I can still read that and if I look down it's you know to move my head a couple you know so I'll watch the whole lap and then uh, we can I can put the side by side when I try out the uh, the upscaling and uh, we'll see how it goes so let's just watch this lap
There you go. So I'm just here looking at the results in Premier Pro as I edit this video. And um, yeah, it's actually pretty interesting. So basically from what I can tell, every time you go up one, uh, point 0.1 in the upscaling, you're basically gaining one on the GPU usage, meaning um, less GPU usage um, for every notch of like upscaling you do. Um, and if you guys have ever looked at this page, you can see what the R and the G numbers are. The R is uh, the CPU processing of uh, rendering uh, frame, but the G is actually the graphics card drawing frames. So by um, lowering that G number, you're, I guess, removing uh, some of the draw on the graphics card. I guess less, you probably have less temperature. You'd probably be able to turn some more graphically intensive things up if you wanted. Um, yeah, so overall, if you're if you were happy with like 0 0.8, uh, you could probably turn up some more eye candy in the game and have it look a bit nicer. Because uh, yeah, when you're looking straight ahead, yeah, you really can't see any difference. I don't think so. Yeah, hopefully this video was helpful and you enjoyed it. Um, would appreciate a like and a subscribe. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.